All right, guys, what we have here is two very popular speaker cabinets. One is the PB-115 and the JBL-115. In my opinion, for speaking and for, you know, really highs and a lot of high, bright sound, you want to go with the PB-115. And what's so special about it is not so much the woofer, but the horn. The horn is so, it's a square horn, directional horn, it's huge, it's massive, and it puts out so much brightness that you can't read it no matter what you're doing. So what's so good about it, it has a P, what's it called? Let's see, it's fucking doing The RX-14 driver. And what happened, my JBLs, I guess, the bottom is really great, it's like it's for like, you know, big bands and for a lot of bass. So the bottom is really great, but the top end, the horn, the tweeter, the compressor sucks. And it went out, I mean, within maybe the first two weeks, it blew out. And we've been trying to figure out what's going on. Um, here working at the church, we're trying to figure out why it was not happening. Why the brights were just, there was no bright sound. The speaker will always ask for more highs, more highs, more highs. We're trying to figure out what's going on, what's wrong with it. So now, we figure out what's wrong with it. The, the compressor went out. So, what we decided to do, since this one's so great, as far as horn-wise, we decided to go with the RS-14, the same compressor that's in here, with the one inch thread. We're gonna take that out of here and put one in here. So I bought one on Amazon, but then it cost like $45, got rush shipping, so it came out about 60 bucks a piece. It's the RS-14. These things are so awesome, they're so easy to install. So I went ahead and bought two of them, got a rush delivery, two day delivery, got here two days. Um, we're shipping on Sunday, so I needed it Saturday to install them. So today's Saturday, I'm going to install them today. So it's real simple to take the grill off. I'm doing it by hand, but trust me, if I had a little screwdriver, the electronic mechanical one, I was definitely using it. We go to the side. All right, so now you got, of course, you got a woofer. Oh, I just screw it there. You have the woofer, and of course you have the horn, which is the plastic piece, and you got the compressor driver. So you can take the horn off to get to the compressor driver. That's another one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bolts. Right. You know, when I usually you can use a screwdriver, but you know, it's not that hard. So take the horn out, just put the wires in, I'm gonna wrap. Just try to get all the screws that was stuck Stop it. There you go. You can't mix them up. Solomon obviously is positive. More the stripe obviously is negative. So again, there's a difference between this plastic piece is considered to be the horn, while this is a compression driver. And this is what went out. The horn you can obviously replace. It's a one-inch throw. Check with your speaker manufacturer, but it's, I know this is a one-inch throw. I know that from researching. So it is kind of difficult because it's factory seal, so you got to use some strength and just Break it off, there you go. <sighs> the screws right off, super simple. There's no need to take this to Sam Ash or Guitar Center. Like, bro, it's so easy. Like, don't waste your money, seriously. And there's a your compressor driver. That's your threaded, threaded piece to your horn, compression driver. Do a size comparison. This is the old one, and this is the new one. This is the JBL stock, this is the XR14 PV. And you, can feel, you can't feel it, but obviously this is much heavier. You can tell it's more heavy duty, more professional than this is. So, so it's simple, you take this. This is the new one, this is the PV, has to be obvious. PV R14, going to the JBL horn. Drive that baby in, nice and snug. You know, it's corn. Hey, remember, it's plastic. Don't break it. Just do a few snugs. You don't want the vibration to break it loose. That's good. Now, there's one thing you have to do. If you're not an electrician, don't cry. It's not that difficult. Trust me. That's a larger head with a smaller head. You differentiate between what's positive and what's negative. But in this case. The more professional, you know, it's printed on there positive and negative, so you can't mix it up. But they use the same type of throne, a prong, should I say. So one thing you will have to do is cut your negative off. My tools. 
Cut your negative off. Go to Home Depot or Auto Parts somewhere. I mean, have something to shed or something. Let's strip it off. Show up a little bit. Of course, it's not the proper electrical snips, yada yada yada. I don't remember. Go ahead and get some regular size. These are regular size um, terminals. Slip them aside here. Pliers. Uh, squeeze it. <coughs> Give them a little tug. Good. And of course, remember the stripe is a negative and the solid is a positive. So you look right here. The positive is right here. Make sure it's nice and snug. We'll take the negative. Go on this side. Just go back. Just do everything I just did in reverse. We'll go ahead and do that now. Product. Once you give it a try, let me show sure, of course it's still working.